We believe it is essential to understand the differences between forgiveness, trust, and reconciliation. In our weekend intensives, we dealt with these three issues together. But for these videos, we're dividing the material into three different parts. We encourage you to listen to all three so that you can have a full grasp of what it looks like to incorporate these into your healing process, which is something we really want you to do. Mm -hmm. So we suggest you first listen to forgiveness, secondly to trust, and lastly to this discussion, the difference between forgiveness, trust, and reconciliation. The truth is that many of us try to combine them and we find ourselves overwhelmed with the, all that that entails. So the purpose of these three discussions is to help you with that, to make your healing a little less convoluted if we can, because what is most important is that you actually heal. Mm -hmm. And if you'll both work together, you can experience the healing of your marriage also. So let's talk a little bit about reconciliation. What is reconciliation? Reconciliation assumes there's been a breakdown in a relationship. It's an exchange of antagonism for goodwill. It involves a change of attitude that leads to another change in the relationship, a change from animosity to friendship, if you will. It's to make compatible. Attitudes are transformed, hostilities cease. Human reconciliation is a process involving two people, and it takes work and time. The Biblical Counseling Coalition says this, reconciliation is a process of ensuring that two parts are in agreement. Reconciliation in a marriage occurs when both husband and wife are working together to reestablish their relationship what we would call a healthy marriage. And what I find talking to couples is that this is what they want first. Right, mm -hmm. right. Yeah, yeah, a good point. And that's why we think that these three talks really need to be heard. Gary's a fair partner, my friend, and I did work through the betrayal and forgiveness was processed, but we did not work through the process of reconciling our relationship because reconciliation is about committing to a future. And again, from the Biblical Counseling Coalition, they say, for the reconciled marriage to flourish, both husband and wife must welcome change into their union. Mm -hmm. Things cannot go back to the way they were pre-adultery because both people are profoundly and permanently changed as a result of the adultery of working through the issues within themselves and their marriage. And that's the good news of this. That is the good news. Amen. It is. And, and, and I think when I would hear that in the beginning, that we were going to have a different marriage, it used to make me feel like we were throwing away all the good that had been in our marriage for 20 years. Yeah. And that is not what it means. Mm -hmm. The stuff you were doing well, the good things in your marriage should stay in your marriage. They should thrive. But some of the things that were not conducive to a healthy marriage, those are the things we need to change. Not only conducive, but they, use, they probably brought you to the place you got to. So those yeah. are the things that have to be eliminated, not the good things like Mona said. Right. Bill Perkins is credited with this. If you think you can't fall into sexual sin, then you're godlier than David, stronger <laughs> than Samson, mm -hmm. and wiser than Solomon. Mm -hmm. Pride is a big sin. Yeah. Pride is a big yeah. sin and a weakness. That's right. One of the ladies I was talking to was in her, they were in their process of recovery, and she likened the whole physical therapy that she was going through in her physical body to the process of recovery. And she said it pushed her beyond her capacity. Mm -hmm. And I think that's how we all feel in this process because really we don't think we can do it when we start because it's too hard but we end up because god is our physical therapist and he's going to make sure we get it done yeah. absolutely yeah. well as we healed and reconciled and worked through the process i realized that i'm not the same person i was before mm -hmm. and neither is gary y you cannot go through this traumatic experience and not change but what had changed was me I like me a lot better now. I grew. Mm -hmm. I became more like the woman God had created me to be. 
And so did Gary grow and become more like the man God created him to be. We came through this as better people. And because we're better people, better individuals, our marriage is better. I love the example of a rock tumbling. Um, have you ever seen those? I think they're out for Christmas and you give them to your little kids or your junior hires and they love it. But they, you throw in these rocks and you tumble Tumbler, them yeah. uh -huh. and they start smoothing yeah. out the edges. Oh. And I think God uses that in our marriages. Mm -hmm. So Absolutely. it feels like we are crashing and hurting each other, but we're just smoothing out the edges. Mm -hmm. That's a beautiful picture. Yeah, don't don't mistake that and put each other in the dryer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can melt together. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, isn't that really what God calls all of us to do? Sure. To continue to grow into the people he created us to be. Mm -hmm. Our growth was not the fault of something horrible and mm -hmm. sinful. Mm -hmm. It was the appropriate response of a Christian to all of life, mm -hmm. good and bad, mm -hmm. a continual state. Well, the truth is that reconciliation requires forgiveness and trust. I can forgive the person who wrecked my car because they drove drunk, but giving them access to my new car and putting my babies in the back seat, mm -hmm. that's trust. Yeah. Yeah. I can forgive a relative who molested me. Making them an integral part of my life, that is reconciliation. Reconciliation requires both parties to be willing to participate in restoring the relationship and making changes. Some relationships are not safe to be in if one of you is unwilling to make those necessary changes. Sometimes we forgive those who are no longer living, but that doesn't reconcile the relationship. Reconciliation is about rejoining with someone who harmed you. So let's look at the differences between forgiveness, trust, and reconciliation. How can we understand this in a more tangible way? And we've developed a chart that might just help in this area. First, we'll see what it is. Then we see who's involved. Then we see the focus. And then we see the keys to it. So let's look at forgiveness first. Forgiveness involves me. It's unilateral, it's just me. Now we can both participate in it, but what's required is just me. The focus in forgiveness is on the past, what has already happened. And the key to forgiveness is that it is a choice, a decision you make. The emotions will follow later. Mm -hmm. Now, if we're talking about trust, that requires you and me together. Neither one of us can do it by ourselves. The focus is on the present. How are we living right now? And the key is safety. Am I safe with you? Am I safe with you? And then if we look at reconciliation, we see once again, it involves both of you working together. You cannot reconcile a relationship by yourself. The focus now is on the future. Will we have a relationship in the future? And the key to reconciliation is the forgiveness and trust. They're both required for true reconciliation to take place. You cannot stay stuck in the past and complete the healing. You cannot stay immobilized in the present and complete the healing. And you cannot focus only on the future and complete the healing. All three of these areas need to be addressed when it comes to forgiveness, trust, and reconciliation. They are three distinctly different processes, yet they do fold together, hand in hand. However, we do have one caution. Do not confuse marital restoration with marital enrichment. And we see this happen all the time. Enrichment comes after restoration. Marital restoration rebuilds, repairs, and mends the damage the adultery has caused. Marital enrichment is a continuing path to keep your marriage healthy. The revelation of adultery is a trauma, as if you were involved in a serious car accident. You're now in the emergency room. We need to stop the bleeding. We need to facilitate restoration of your ability to function. This is marital restoration. Rehab 
comes later after some healing has been accomplished. Now you work on restoring and maintaining your ability to function. And this keeps you healthy, makes you stronger. This is marital enrichment. We would all agree that the time for the physical therapist to come in and talk about your rehab is not in the ER or in surgery while you're still in severe pain. But here's the good news. It is never too late to begin or restart the healing process. And we want to encourage you to continue in your healing process. You must process through it all. If you're waiting for your spouse to heal, it won't work. Neither you nor your spouse can heal your marriage alone. They alone can heal, but that won't heal the damage in your marriage. It requires both of you working together. Your goal is that healthy marriage we've talked about. It won't be perfect because neither of you are perfect, but it can be a relationship with love, trust, intimacy, and respect. Can you really forgive adultery? Forgive the deep wounds in the marriage relationship? Rebuild or even build for the first time trust? Can you truly reconcile your marriage, your relationship? Can these things really happen after infidelity? Anyone who has walked this path has asked themselves these questions. We all did. But we can tell you now, here, all these years later, hundreds of couples that God's allowed us to walk beside, we can tell you, yes, you can. You can forgive deep wounds. You can rebuild trust. You can truly reconcile because we did it. Mm -hmm. And because we know hundreds of people who have also done it. Don't give up, mm -hmm. persevere. A healthy marriage is an attainable goal and it's worth the cost. Mm -hmm.